Hello, I am going to open up a 2014 core set fat pack today. I just got it in the mail and I am stoked to open it up. In this fat pack, um, if you open up the outer part of the box, you'll see that it becomes a poster, which is an awesome poster for the 2014 because it's Chandra. And then also there is a player's guide, which I think is really cool about fat packs. There also is a box that comes with it so that you can store all your cards. I think that that's awesome. I use it all the time, especially when I'm traveling with my cards and my decks. Um, it comes with nine booster packs, a lot of land, a life die, and two boxes that you can make into little like deck boxes. So that's really exciting. We've got commons, which I'm just going to skim through um, because it's probably better that way. Alright, so I went ahead and skipped to my uncommons in here. I also was working out some kinks with the video. So, I'm on to Shiv's Embrace for an uncommon. Um, it is an enchantment, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets a plus two, plus two, and has flying. And if I pay one red mana, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And that is a four drop Shiv's Embrace. We move on to Staff of the Wild. Megus. I think that that's how you pronounce it. Um, whenever you cast a green spell or a forest enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. I like that card, and it's cool artwork. We've got Angelic Accord. I actually really wanted this card. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so it's a four drop, and it's an enchantment. At the beginning of each end step, if you gained four or more life this turn, put a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Now the reason why I like that one so much is because I just recently built an angel deck with some cards that I had, but I needed better ones. And for our rare, we have Silence. It's a one drop. Your opponents can't cast spells this turn. Then we've got an island, and that thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open up another one. Here we go. All right, skipping ahead from the commons and moving on to uncommons. Spell Blast. All right, counter target spell with converted mana cost of X, and that's how much you pay. It's a pretty good card. Congregate for four. Target player gains two life for each creature on the battlefield. Artificer's Hex. Enchant equipment. At the beginning of your upkeep, if enchanted equipment is attached to creature, destroy that creature. And Lifebane Zombie is our rare. I love zombies too. Um, it's got Intimidate. And when Lifebane Zombie enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a green or white creature card from it and exile that card. Nice. And then we've got a swamp and a sliver token. Alright, not too shabby. Alright, I'm going to move on to the next one. Let's see here. Millstone. See, it's an artifact. Two to tap. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into hers or her graveyard. That's actually a really great card for my mill deck. Howl of the Night Pack. It's a sorcery. It costs a lot to put out. It costs seven. Six colorless and one green. Put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield for each forest you control. It's a pretty cool card. Flesh Pulper Giant. When Flesh Pulper Giant enters the battlefield, you may destroy a target creature with toughness two or less. Oh, and a Jace Memory Adept! Awesome. Okay, I really wanted this card. And I am really glad that I just got it. Okay, 
So he's a planeswalker. Uh, for plus one, draw a card. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Zero. Target player puts the top ten cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Minus seven. Any number of target players each draw twenty cards. Awesome. I am super stoked about that. We've got that and a sapling. Okay. Jace. Cool. That is awesome. On to the next one. Skim through these. Dark Steel Ingot. You guys will have to tell me if I'm pronouncing that right. It's indestructible, and if you tap it, it adds one color, well, one mana of any color to your mana pool. Awesome. I always like cards like that. Another Angelic Accord! Nice! At the beginning of each end set- well, no, I already read it for you. Bramble Crush! And Friendslayer Paladin. Cool. First Strike, Lifelink, Friendslayer Paladin, Fiendslayer, excuse me. Fleend, Fiendslayer Paladin. Wow, I really can't say that. Um, he can't be the target of black or red spells your opponents control. Wow, I'm... My brain is all over the place, I guess, after that, Jace, that I'm excited about. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. <clears throat> Spell Blast, we saw that one a little bit earlier. Congregate, we saw that one a little bit earlier too. Battle Sliver, silver cr sliver creatures you control get plus two, plus zero. It's a good card. And Grim Return, it's a th three to put out, and it is an instant. Choose target creature card in a graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Put that card onto the battlefield under your control. Nice. And a swamp. And an angel token. Nice. Alright. Next. Skipping ahead. Skipping ahead. Two. Steel form sliver. Sliver creatures you can control get plus zero plus one. Nice. Awesome. Battle sliver. Another one of those. Nice. Phantom warrior for a three drop. He's a phantom warrior. Can't be blocked and he's a two two. That's kind of nice. And door of destinies. As door of destinies enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, put a charge counter on door of destinies. Creatures you control of the chosen type get a plus one, plus one for each charge counter on door of destinies. Awesome. All right, we've got those. And then, next one, we have three packs left. Three packs. Let's hope for something amazing. Rod of Ruin. For three and tap it. Rod of Ruin deals one damage to target creature or player. Nice. Glimpse of the Future. Well, that's really beautiful artwork, actually. Um, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Phantom Warrior again. It's always nice to have creatures that don't cost much to put out and that can't be blocked. Gale Rider, Sliver, oh, this is a good card. Sliver creatures you control have flying, and it only costs one to put out. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, and I got a foil card. It's an uncommon foil card. It costs five to put out. It's green. Woodborn Behemoth. As long as you control eight or more lands, Woodborn Behemoth gets plus four, plus four, and has trample. Awesome. All right, two packs left, guys. Two packs left. Another Spell Blast. A Gnawing Zombie. Sacrifice a creature. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Pay two. Sacrifice a creature. A target player loses one life and you gain one life. Nice. Actually saw this the other day and I really liked it. Sangir Vampire. I like Sangir Vampire. Uh, he is flying and whenever a creature dealt damage by Sangir Vampire, this turn dies. Put a 1 1 counter on Sangir Vampire. Ring of Three Wishes. That's cool. A mythic rare artifact. Ring of Three Wishes enters the battlefield with three wish counters on it. 
you pay five, tap it, remove a wish counter from Ring of Three Wishes, search your library for a card, and put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. Dude, that's awesome. All right. Oh, and another foil card, Windstorm. Windstorm deals X damage to each creature with flying. Nice. Oh, awesome. Okay. This is a great pack. I am really glad I got it. Alright, so I'm gonna skim ahead again. Uncommons. Staff of Death Magus. Whenever you cast a black spell or a swamp enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Nice. Briar Pack Alpha. Flash. When Briar Pack Alpha enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Stonehorn Chanter. It's a rhino cleric. You know, I don't think I've ever actually heard of this. Interesting. So if you pay six, his ability is Stornhorn Chanter gains Vigilance and Lifelink until end of turn. And Chandra's Phoenix. Nice. I actually really wanted this card too. So it's flying and haste, and whenever an opponent is dealt damage by a red instant or sorcery spell you control, or by a red planeswalker you control, return Chandra's Phoenix from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Nice. Okay. That pack was totally worth getting. I am stoked. Okay, that was guys. A really fun so, pack to open up on video. Okay, so crush that like button, thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll keep opening these things. Also, feel free to comment what you liked and didn't like about the video because this is only my second video, and I would love for some positive feedback as well as constructive criticism so my videos can keep getting better and more interesting.